Hi guys, it is Mother Crow here, uh, or Ashley Crow as some of you guys know me from my channel. Um, I'm about to do the weekly reading for this week. Uh, it is December the 2nd through December the 6th, I think? No, that doesn't make sense. 7th through the 8th. December 7th through the 8th. Weekly reading. Let's go. Okay, I'm diving right into it, trying not to stall, not to take any time wasted. Um, this is, I'm going to start with, uh, starting with fire signs. Um, for those of you that haven't watched my videos before, I break this down by elemental zodiacs. So all the fire signs are going first. That's Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. And then I'll do all earth signs, all water signs, and all air signs. All right. And, uh, I'm using the Crow Tarot because I'm Mother Crow. Ha, it works. And this is the, um, this is the Kickstarter version, or I'm sorry, not Kickstarter, this is the Indiegogo version, uh, not the USA Games version, because the USA Games version will have a different card back, okay? Alright, so first up is Fire Signs, and I've already shuffled, so the first card for you guys is the Nine of Cups, and the Nine of Cups is all about sharing your bounty. You've spent all this time gathering all this stuff, and you you gathered it, all this love, this joy, all the presents, all the food, you've got it all, and it's not just for you to show off to others, you actually have to go out and share that bounty, share that joy that you have. Okay, don't just show off with it, and don't just say, hey, look at my stuff, I got a lot of stuff. You to share that stuff, you know? Love your friends, love your family, give back. The Knight of Pentacles is all about an unexpected gift is coming. Uh, there's movement with this card as well, so this is really good for finances, and it could be a job that you're starting, or it could just be like an unexpected gift card you get in the mail or something, like a, a card from a relative, you know, a small gift, nothing large, nothing drastic, but it's definitely welcome change um, financially. And the Six of Cups, this one is a disappointment. Okay, so there's something, something towards the end of the week is really going to uh, upset you or rather it's just it's not going to bring you as much joy as it once did all right so maybe that that gift that you get and you're like you're really excited there's all this build up for it and then it turns out that it's just something tiny like you know uh like maybe it's a gift from your cat i used to have a cat and cats bring presents and it's like it could be like a leaf and that was a gift so there was all this build up from this reading and me talking about this great gift you're going to get and it's something small like that, you know? Or maybe it's like just like a flower that you find when you're walking home, you know? Or a dollar bill, you know, something small. And there's all this build up and then you get to the end of the week and you realize, oh, that was it. <laughs> and it's, it's a little disappointing, you know? So just be prepared for a little bit of disappointment towards the end of the week. Next, I am moving on to water signs. This is all the, this is Cancer, Pisces, and, what's the other water sign? Oh, Scorpio. That's right. This is the one I always say wrong when I'm doing these videos. I normally say Scorpion because I just fumble my words like that. Mama three, you know, mom brain. All right, so this is for you water signs. You start, ooh, six of I'm oh, sorry, four of swords, Roman numerals, gotta read them, five of wands, and the seven of coins. Okay, so let's start off with these two, because this is all the, the bad stuff you're going to get this week. Okay, the four of swords is feeling stuck, feeling tired, feeling lethargic, feeling sleepy. Um, it's also just lack of motivation through like depression and just not wanting to do things and get things done. The five of wands here is all about a conflict, all about a fight, and it's a it's a petty fight. It's a fight you don't need to have. It's like over who's going to wash the dishes tonight. Instead of just arguing about who's going to do it, just do it, you know? Um, but arguments happen like that, especially petty arguments with family and loved ones and stuff like that. And it's just, it's going to be like a double blow because you're already feeling down with this four of sword card. And then to get this petty argument, it's just, just going to be like, ruin your week. Uh, but luckily, that doesn't, it's not lasting the whole week, it's just the beginning, you know, towards the end of the week, you've got a little bit better here with the Seven of Coins, and the Seven of Coins is, um, it's, it's either a teacher that's coming to give you a lesson, or, uh, like a life coach or something, stepping up, um, 
maybe getting some counseling for your bad week or just a friend that's listening to you and giving you some really good advice. That's what that seven of coins is about. It's about like a teacher or um, somebody who's in a higher position that's giving back to you and helping you out right now. Because uh, we all could use a little help sometimes, you know? So that's good. At least somebody will be there for you. If, if things get bad, you always have somebody to turn to and to talk to and to get advice from them. Alright, so next up I'm doing Earth Signs. This is Taurus, Capricorn, and Libra, Libra's Air. I'm drawing a blank, but I will come back to it. This is Earth Signs, you know who you are. I do this quick, under 10 minutes here. That's my goal. Okay, so Queen of Cups for Earth Signs. The Tower of oh, Bad Midweek. And the Five of Coins. All right, Earth Signs, another not a great week for you guys. The Queen of Cups means like seeing past the fear and the worry of this week. Even though it is going to be a rough week for you, you have to see past all that and see the lesson that's there. Uh, things might be murky at times, but there's a lesson to learn, and that lesson is most likely how you respond to the bad times you're going to have this week. The tower is like being shaken to your core, something that upsets you so much um, that you just really can't control your emotions, and you might think your plans might crumble and fall apart in your hands. You know, everything you, you want it to do this week is just not working out. Uh, maybe there's like a big move you're about to take and uh, as you're trying to get things done and get everything unpacked or, or trying to finalize the move and stuff, um, like the moving van breaks down and like you have to rethink your entire plan and replan things. So just be prepared for that for a, just in case of emergency, get a backup plan now. The five of coins here is all about worries, financial worries, not having enough money to make it through the holidays and through the winter. Um, maybe because of that, whatever that was, that setback was, that the, the tower card was, whatever that was that like uh, shook you to your core and changed your whole mindset and your whole mood, whatever it was might affect your finances and make it hard to get through the rest of the month. Uh, so just be very cautious of that, Earth Signs. It's not a great week for you guys. I hope it gets better next week, and hopefully I get a reading done for you guys so we can see ahead of time uh, and help plan better. That's what this is all about. All this foresight that you get through these readings is really just to help you plan for how things will go, you know, this month. Um, I'm still doing monthly readings, by the way. If you want a full month outlook, it's only $5.00 get a full month. All right, one more. This is air signs. This is all of the Libra, Aquarius, and Gemini, I believe, are all the air signs. I think I listed them all. And again, I'm trying to get this done quick for everybody. Under 10 minutes, that's my goal, okay? Because that's easy to edit if it's under 10 minutes. Um, air signs, you've got the moon. That's how your week is going to start off. This is all about... Um, Avoiding fears, shedding light on things that normally scare you or freak you out a little bit. Maybe you're introverted and somebody's inviting you to a party, but they're they're telling you that it's going to be okay. You don't need to worry so much um, because I've got I've got your back. You know, if if you need a quiet place to go, you can go there. Um, the Five of Cups. This is again the fives are not great cards. Fives are about loss or conflict or fighting. Um, the Five of Cups is all about look like emotions spilling over, like sorrow and worry, um, but emotional worry, not physical worry. There's nothing you actually have to worry about, but you're still worried, you know? Like, it's it's just being emotional, uh, ups and downs, highs and lows. Um, the King of Wands is also coming for you guys this week, air signs. And the King of Wands, it's a it's a pretty decent card, uh, but it's also a card I like to work worry about just a little bit because it's all about taking action and doing things. But with these other with the emotional side of these other cards, you don't want to be taking action emotionally, you know, because that's you want to have a level head and a clear mindset when you before you set things into motion. Um, because if you do them for the wrong reason, then the outcome is going to be the wrong outcome, you know. 
Like you do things out of love, then you're going to get a good, loving outcome. If you do things out of anger, then you're just going to get anger back because that's how the world works. It's like a cycle. All right, and that is it. Under 10 minutes, that is your weekly reading for December 2nd through December 8th. Uh, if you like this video, please comment and please subscribe. Also, uh, be sure to check out my vlog videos. I'm only doing them for Vlogmas because I am not a vlogger. That, I'm just not, and I don't want to turn into a vlogger. It's just a challenge that I need to do and I need to face and I need to stare down my demons and work things out. And so that's why I'm doing this. So thank you again for watching. Leave me a comment and see you guys next week.